Hello and welcome to the official chart wrap up with me, Jamila Jamil. I'm here to bring you your weekly news and your top 10 entertainment gossip. So there's so much going on in Chartland this week, especially for Pharrell Williams, who won a massive award this week, not for having the stupidest happy music, but instead for having the UK's most downloaded track of all time. This is what he had to say about it. It's pretty unbelievable, you know, considering the fact that, like, I'm not from here and, um, and also an honor because, you know, England and uh, Holland were the first places to really embrace NERD. So, you know, us kind of like as artists. And I never expected any of this. I like the fact that he's still humble. So in other news, Fall Out Boy shocked the world when they suddenly released their new single Centuries from their new album, which is the follow-up to last year's Save Rock and Roll. Pete Wentz flew to London just for 12 hours in order to talk to Zane Lowe. That is how powerful Zane Lowe is. And he talked about their new album and then made this shocking revelation. Okay, so like we, I, so I went, we went to this little animal sanctuary. We yeah. went with um, B.O.B. So he was there with us and he was like pretty awesome to go see with the animals. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it again. B.O.B. We went to the animal park. <laughs> with B.O.B. at a safari park? Yeah. And on that bombshell, let's get into your top 10 this week. You gonna be my baby. Chris Brown recruits Usher for an over-the-top dance-off and Rick Ross for some torso variety in New Flame, a new entry at number 10. Nine this week as a non-mover with Magic and Rue. Script to down five, eight this week with superheroes. And remember, you can still catch their cover of Sia Chandelier in the Live Lounge on Radio 1's YouTube channel. Five Seconds of Summer get deep and wistful on Amnesia, this week's number seven. Ten Walls is at number six with a new entry, Walking with Elephants. The video sees people running around in morph suits. So, there are no actual elephants in there, weirdly. The femme fatale duo that is Iggy Azalea and Rita Ora are down one at five this week with the very sexy Black Widow. Taylor Swift is up two places at number four, proving she has perfected Goofy in almost any situation in the video for Shake It Off. I personally love this song. Sam Smith continues to stake his claim as Man of the Year 2014 as I'm Not the Only One moves back up the chart to number three. And last week's number one, Prayer and Sea by Robin Schultz and Lily Wood is knocked off the top spot after two weeks. So that means John Newman and Calvin Harris are a brand new number one this week with Blame. We caught up with John Newman on the phone in LA to find out how he would be celebrating. I remember my, when I got number one with the album, me and my best friend Tom were actually building a shed in my garden because that was the only Sunday I'd had off in a very long time. So we built a shed. But this time, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm here in LA and I've got a beautiful view in front of me. And it, and I don't want it to sound like one of those egotistical or stereotypical things where it's like, I'm out in LA and I'm doing all right. It's like, I'm looking at it and, and it's amazing and I'm so proud of, of what's happened. So Calvin Harris and John Newman are officially the UK's number one and you can find out if they've made it two weeks to the top next Sunday on my show from 4pm. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe so you can get all of Radio 1's videos first. I'll see you next week.